watching Kashmir News Bureau. I'm Kai Sardar. Here goes the stories of the day. Three civilians injured in Pulwama grenade attack. In the afternoon, suspected militants lobbed the grenade towards a police vehicle in Rajpura Chowk of South Kashmir's Pulwama. As per officials, the attack took place near Shaheed Park in the area and the grenade exploded on the road, injuring three civilians who were rushed to a nearby hospital for treatment. Immediately, government security forces cordoned off the area and search to nab the attackers was initiated, but so far no confirmation of any arrest has been provided by the officials. LG Manoj Sena launches Mission 1 Gram Panchayat 1 Digi Paisaki in Jammu and Kashmir. Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sena today launched the Mission 1 Gram Panchayat 1 Digi Paisaki in Jammu and Kashmir and distributed AT Aadhaar enabled payment systems to promote door to door digital banking and other services in remote areas under Jammu and Kashmir Rural Light Vehicles Mission. He also inaugurated a week long training program for Krishi and Pashu Sakhis. LG Sena said, Nari Shakti social economic independence is the bedrock of any nation's progress. These three new initiatives of DG Pay, Krishi and Pashu Sakhi will further accelerate efforts of the Jammu and Kashmir government in empowering women and making them key partner in the Union Territory's development journey. Manu Sena also said that Jammu and Kashmir government has started a mass movement for the socio-economic upliftment of women across the Union Territory. A first of its kind women industrial estate will come up at Udhampur industrial estate further strengthening the women entrepreneurs ecosystem in Jammu and Kashmir. Convicted of raping a minor girl in 2018, court sentences man to 10 years of imprisonment. A fast-track court in Jammu today sentenced a man to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment for raping a 17-year-old girl in 2018. As per the prosecution, the girl was sleeping in her room and next morning was found missing in April 2018. Her family members conducted searches all around but failed to locate her. During these searches, it came to know that the girl was kidnapped by her neighbor Rakesh Kumar who was also missing from his house. Well, based on the complaint by the girl's father, police registered a case of kidnapping and recovered his daughter from Ratlam, Madhya Pradesh on 6th of April 2018. After medical examinations of the girl, rape was also added to the case. It was on 6th of May, the case was allocated to a fast-track court for trial of rape cases and now after hearing both the sides, the presiding officer of the court, Khalil Chaudhary, said that all the evidences on record unerringly point towards the guilt of the accused. Apart from the 10-year imprisonment, the convict identified as Rakesh Kumar of Kaledi Balbal Jammu has also been sentenced to seven years of jail for kidnapping the teenage girl. And as per the order by the presiding officer of the Fast Track Court, those sentences shall run concurrently. The rapist has also been fined 25,000 rupees each for both the sentences and in case of failure to pay the same, the convict has been ordered to undergo further imprisonment for a period of three months in each offence. Taliban denied death rumours of their Deputy Prime Minister Mullah Baradar. The Taliban has denied that one of their top leaders Mullah Baradar has been killed in a shootout with the rivals following rumours about the internal split in the moment. A Taliban spokesperson Sulleil Shaheen has said that Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, former head of the Taliban political office and the current Deputy Prime Minister, issued a voice message rejecting the claims that he had been killed or injured in a clash. As per the spokesperson, Baradar called the rumours lies and totally baseless. Well, that's it for the day. For detailed stories, visit our website kashmirnewsbureau.com and for quick news, follow us on social media platforms. Goodbye.